You guys are unbelievable. My newest doll sold out in four hours. She is going to Germany, so I need to prepare her for the trip. I got some requests to make beginner friendly video for someone who would like to make their first life doll so I'm going to start customizing this doll and I will talk through the process so you will understand what I'm doing today we are going to focus only on sanding dolls face carving nose and lips and how to use mr. super clear I already made some beginner friendly videos so I think you should check them out too I made a video how to open life doll what tools you should buy at the beginning and what art supplies you need to paint doll's face. So let's start. Before you paint the doll, you need to sand her face. This will help paint stick to the face and also you will be able to carve nose and lips. I start sanding the face with 800 grit then I use 1000, 2000 and 2200 sanding paper till I won't see any scratches. recommend using water when you sand with 1000 and above grit because it gives best results and makes sanding faster. The best way to find out if the doll doesn't have scratches is to dry her face with a paper towel. If you don't sand her face properly, scratches will be more visible when you will be painting the doll with soft pastels. Soft pastels will just feel the scratches, so they will be more visible and it won't look good. The hardest part of customizing a Blythe doll is definitely carving nose and lips. And this process is totally up to you. Some people like big realistic lips and some like small lips. For example, I like my dolls to have medium lips. The first thing I recommend is to draw the shape of the lips you like the most. And when you're happy with your sketch, it's time to use your tools. I like to carve towards lips so they will pop out, but don't be scared to carve inside lips if you want your doll to have medium or small lips. This part takes the most practice, that's why I think it's nice to have extra faceplate, just for practice. This is what I did when I first started making dolls. Also, in my opinion, I don't think you need to buy expensive tutorials on how to carve nose and lips, because you can easily find free videos here on YouTube or Instagram how people do it. You can also also watch carefully what I'm doing right now in this video. I tried my best to show my process. Carving nose is much easier than lips, so don't be scared to use your tools. I don't like how the original nose looks like, for me it's too pointy. This is why I sound down point of the nose, so it looks more rounded and it's more cute in my opinion. 
I repeat over and over the same movements. It takes so much time, so don't be scared that your doll doesn't look beautiful at the beginning. You need to take your time and trust the process. My first ever Blythe doll took me one week. And when I was making her, I didn't have tools that I have right now. So it was hard for me and I was asking other customizer if I'm doing everything okay, if everything is all right with my doll. And yeah, that's why it took one week because I was checking every step that I was making. And believe me, I'm still learning how to improve my dolls. Learning any craft takes time and it's okay to ask people, it's okay to watch tutorials on YouTube and it's totally okay to make ugly doll at the beginning. <laughs> When you finish nose and lips, it's time to use sanding paper again. Sand the face around lips and nose because tools you were using left a lot of scratches. When the face is ready to be painted, the first thing I recommend is to wash the face with soap and water. It will help to clean the plastic from the sand and also will clean oil from your fingers. It is very important to have the face as clean as possible before using the base layer of the spray. And because you were touching a lot the doll, it can be oily. Now let's talk about Mr. Super Clear, who is the best friend of every doll artist. It is not as hard to use as everyone thinks. Mr. Super Clear helps the face up stay on the doll. I like to have two layers of Mr. Super Clear before face up. I know some people like to use only one layer or even three layers, but in my case, two layers works totally fine. When you use the spray, you need to wear a safety mask. Also, you need to be in a very well ventilated space because this thing is not good for your health. Don't spray too close and also shake well before every use. Wait for the first layer to dry out completely. Each layer takes around 15 minutes to dry out. When I wait for the faceplate to dry out, I put it into the box so any dust won't stay on the face. And then it's time for painting, which is the best part of doll customization. Use any colors and supplies you will feel comfortable using. If it's your first time and you have no idea what art supplies to buy, check out my video dedicated to this topic. Just imagine that the doll face is like your face when you do your makeup. You can use red or pink color on her cheeks as you use blush on yourself. When she is ready to be painted, this is what I do. You don't have to do it, but I think it's, uh, it's easier to do this way. I would start with painting only one thing only one area of her face. And then when I would finish this space on her face, I would seal the whole face. For example, I like to paint uh, lips at the beginning and then when I'm finished painting the lips, then I seal with Mr. Super Clear. Because when, for example, I paint her cheeks, sometimes I can touch, you know, lips with my fingers or with my hand and I could damage uh, her lips. So I like to seal if I finish something. You probably watched a lot of YouTube videos where you saw how people paint their dolls and you probably thought that they do everything in one take, you know? But it's not like that, um, videos are edited, so it looks like everyone paint everything at once, you know? They paint lips, they paint eyeshadow, they paint uh, nose, but it's not like that. Every artist seal what they like on the face. We do it because we are afraid to damage this, so yeah, this is normal. So how many layers of Mr. Super Clear you actually would have on a doll if you seal her lips, if you seal her cheeks, nose. Yeah, it can be a lot of layers. I don't know how many layers I do, but maybe around 10 layers. And when I am finished with the makeup, I always use two layers at the end to just make sure that everything is sealed properly. 
I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Bye bye!